Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the beer review guy. But I got some bourbon whiskey tonight. This is some Jim Beam. <clears throat> I have been asked by um, BH, aka Brian, um, to do Jim Beam review for a long time. And <clears throat> I, uh, I just, um, I, I, I've always just bought like cheaper you know, bourbon whiskey to do, like, mixed drinks with. Um, just, you know, like, seven, eight dollars, maybe, maybe twelve. Um, <clears throat> but my cheap whiskey is almost gone, and I thought, you know what, I think I'll buy a nice, you know, quality, a nice bourbon whiskey to enjoy um, on my days off. So I thought I'll go ahead and get some Jim Beam to satisfy Brian. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> so here we go. I got it nice and chilled down. Um, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. 40% ABV, 80 proof. Aged for four long years in the heart of Kentucky, Jim Beam Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey is made for those who take their bourbon seriously. Aged for four years. Nice. <clears throat> All right. It shows a, a picture over here. Legacy. Seven generations of the Beam family. From, from 1760 to 1957. Master distillers since 1795, it says. Here's to every beam who has added his own special chapter to our story. Kentucky in our hearts, bourbon in our soul. Okay. Mm. Man, this this brings back like a lot of memories because <clears throat> my brothers, my older brothers, um, they bought only the good stuff. And uh Jim Beam, Jack Daniels, those were like their main purchases, you know, they didn't buy cheap, cheap whiskeys, cheap bourbons. Oh man. Man, that smelled good. Nice, sweet. A little a little barrel, you know, a little barrel aged aroma. Maybe a little maple, maybe. It smells good. Got some warming, um, decently smooth. Um, <clears throat> I don't drink my bourbon whiskey straight. Never, never have. Um, I do, I drink them with, with the uh, you know Pepsi or Coke. Coke back in the days. Um, I do it with. Uh, with Pepsi now, when I do a, if I do a Coke and whiskey, it's actually Pepsi and whiskey. Um, ooh, that aftertaste is good. It's 
good. <clears throat> Ooh. Bah, I'm about to took my breath away. Um, I'm not a a bourbon whiskey, you know, reviewer, um, connoisseur in any kind of way. Um, so I, I don't. I don't know all the tasting notes that I need to look for in it. Um, <clears throat> just that, that barrel aged taste and that it's, you know, medium sweet. Um, there's a little bit of a, like a maple, maybe a little, maybe a little vanilla or something like that was here. don't know what else to compare it to but I mean you can you can tell you know if you take a, a cheap bourbon whiskey and put it up against something like this I'm pretty sure you could probably tell the difference so uh, my old my oldest brother he was he was big on on uh, <clears throat> drinking Coke and whiskeys, and uh, he he made them pretty strong. Um, that's just how he drank them. mixed like this it, with the soda pop it brings <clears throat> it takes like the harshness out of the bourbon whiskey and leaves you the 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 flavor um getting past the alcohol for me is a little difficult um but when you take out the alcohol factor like I said, you get you get the the flavors left behind for me personally. Um, so, yeah, really good. Okay, I have a a drink request to do for um, oh, what was his name? I have it written down. I can't remember what it was though. So. For a beam and cream, I think it was, made with Jim Beam and whipped cream. I'll have to look up and see what it all consists of, but uh, I have this now, so I can do that, too. Um, but there, there you go. That's about it. Um... So, Brian, hope you enjoyed this video. He wanted me to, he said, well, if I can't do Jim Beam, how about Jack Daniels? Well, Jack Daniels is even more expensive than Jim Beam. So, this was a, a little bit better for me to do on my budget. So, all right, I'm going to end it there. Um... Those of you that are, you know, good with, uh, you know, bourbon whiskey tasting notes, let me know what I should be looking for. You know, the flavors I should be looking for in good quality bourbon whiskeys. Um, I like to watch some bourbon whiskey reviews, kind of get an idea. Um, just kinda, it's not in my wheelhouse, so uh, that's why I'm not uh, educated on doing these kind of things, but uh, I do at least recognize a good quality bourbon whiskey. 
But uh, there you go. All right. I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And we will see you on, on the next one.